And a very good evening to all my viewers. It's Friday, June 2nd, 2023. It's 12.07 a.m. Eastern. And we're gonna be trying out a new setting here on my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's the high bitrate mode video recording setting. So apparently this is supposed to improve video quality. We'll find out. So this is a new update that came in with the last edition of the Samsung Android update and that's why I just discovered it now. Let's we'll see what the quality is like. And we're on Azure Set 27. Let's go down one more carriage here. So this new setting, this new high bitrate setting was released with the last Android update, I believe. So it's my first time trying it out. Let me know what you think. Do you see any improvements? Do you see anything different about it? The only thing is, apparently the file sizes are bigger for this setting, which is not a problem because let's say I film a Metro ride like I'm doing now. All I have to do is upload it to YouTube and then delete it off my phone when I'm done. And the good news is as well, Apparently this setting is supposed to give higher quality videos. So we'll find out if that's the case or not. We're going to film a ride from here to Lino Gru and then maybe switch over to the green line. Give us a bit of diversity with our content. And the other thing about this setting is because it's higher quality it's probably going to take a bit longer to process on YouTube. If you're not familiar when you upload a video to YouTube it doesn't just upload and become available it has to process. And for additional information I'm filming in 60 FPS 60 frames per second 60 FPS sorry 60 frames per second. A short metro ride because it's just a test it's just a test to see how this video quality is going to turn out i'll also do a nature video an outdoor video with this setting as well and see how it turns out and this is 4k it's uh ultra ultra hd 4k 60 frames per second
So when I zoom in, the quality doesn't look any better than it used to, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It looks grainy. But I mean, it's not meant to really zoom in when you're filming. It's uh, normal to be a bit grainy the more you zoom in. But the big test will be when we upload it and uh, process it. MR73 on our uh, our green line trip here we'll find out so I'm gonna try like I said an outdoor version a daytime version see what we can do different colors so now we'll take the green line should be here in one minute and it's an Azure train again We'll take this, uh, well, you know what we'll do? We'll take it to, uh, to La Salle Metro. And it's Azure Set 48. So we'll see how the, the quality is of this. Like I said, maybe, maybe I'll keep this quality or I'll keep it for certain videos. One thing I noticed, you know, when you're Playing around with settings and trying to improve your, your videos and whatnot. Sometimes there's trade-offs. Sometimes you, you know, increase, for example, the video quality. You might sacrifice the zoom quality, vice versa. Or you increase the video quality lose storage space which I don't have an issue with you know that's because me I, I try to have a habit of uploading videos as soon as I get home but sometimes I do keep content on my phone for too long so but for example this video is going to be uploaded overnight and once it's processed and I see that it's completely processed as 4k because it first starts in first they process it as standard definition and then the video becomes available to see and then after that it's high definition and then 4K. So we're gonna wait till it's in 4K completely, completely processed to the highest quality and then I'm gonna release the video. said let me know in the comments what you think do you see any improvement I'll show you the zoom here the zoom is still pretty standard just a regular zoom but at least as far as I can see it's pretty much the same even on the one time I'm using the regular lens the 1x lens which is the standard lens the normal lens I haven't tried it with the wide angle one yet well, it seems pretty nice. So we're probably going to get a 10 minute video here. Just perfect for a test. For the new setting I discovered, the high bitrate mode. station so we can see what it looks like outside in the dark on the street for maybe 10 20 seconds or so
Also curious just how much more storage the high bitrate video uses compared to the regular video. And again, it's in 4K, just like my regular videos are in 4K. Oh, look, we got some LED lights here, guys. These are the new LED lights. I'm putting them in here, too. And um, the other thing about this station right now is that they're doing work on... ...the skylights. This depender has been closed for a while, this convenience store. So, you know, I'm going to tell you guys something too. You know, when you're, when you have a phone, a smartphone, always check your phone, your video settings, your recording settings every few months because sometimes they release updates, especially this, this was released in the last Android update I got or one of the recent ones and I didn't discover it until recently. So always check your, always check your settings not just for videos but for for everything because sometimes they update the phone they update the software they update the hardware components well the software makes the hardware components better like for example here we're seeing if we can get better better quality video with the high bitrate mode so we're outside now guys i'll zoom into this moon uh pretty much regular regular zoom features on this Nothing special there, but there you get a bit of a, an idea, you know, so this is the high bitrate mode Let me know if you notice a difference Like I said, I'm not going to Release the video until it's completely processed to 4k But uh, let me know what you think. All right. Have a good night everybody more videos to come and uh, thank you for watching See y'all soon